Dear friends, after four hour long drive from Istanbul to Gelibolu, we are ready to have our lunch. You get an old Turkish saying, Aç ayı oynamaz, hungry bear cannot dance. Let's go and enjoy our great Turkish food. Okay guys, life is too short, let's start with the dessert. And this town is famous for their cheese dessert. They have got roasted one and they have got the plain one and they serve with a scoop of ice cream and it's yummy. Who wants to have? Who? Yeah. Okay, you are sitting outside, you are sitting outside and we are getting the orders. Dear friends, the, the baked one with semolino is less sweet than this one. This is pure cheese. So you should start with this one, then go to the sweeter one, okay? A piece of this, a piece of ice cream, and then try that one. <laughs> kind of has like a short face. Hey, you want to share with me? Yeah. Right, come here. Join us. I don't have anyone. I don't have anyone sharing online. I can't believe it's not cheddar. <laughs> You're so funny, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Eating time. <laughs> Okay, it is time for GUTV Lanyard of the Day. Andrew, you are the producer. Who is the winner? Our GUTV Lanyard goes to the most inspirational Turk that we have met in each location. Here in Istanbul, it's been a university student. Sechil Bijan is 19 and studies at the Yeri Tepe University, which means Seven Hills. Are you ready for your close-up, Sechil? <laughs> she is studying for a degree in English language and literature and has been accompanying us as our peer, but also as our young tour guide, showing us the contemporary parts of Turkey in Taksim Square, but also over the Asia side, which is where she actually lives. <laughs> She's also been helping us brush up on our Turkish, and for me personally, She's taught me a few tricks for the Turkish ladies. Naber bebim, or what's up, baby? <laughs> Dear friends, we spent three days in Istanbul, and now I'm turning the table, and I would like to ask you the questions. What was your first impression in Istanbul? And in Turkish, we say that first love and first impression cannot be forgotten. Istanbul was definitely different than any city I've ever been in. It was just massive and so busy and there's so much going on which is awesome but really overwhelming at first it was great to see all the different like artifacts i've never been to a city with such like a ancient history and we got to go into like the hippodrome and the things at the museum so it was just kind of crazy because like american history doesn't go it only goes back i don't know a couple hundred years and this is like thousands of years old so that was insane and just getting to see the people and the totally different culture was interesting and I'm excited to go back to get more of like a, an impression of the city without being like shocked and kind of overwhelmed. Um, when I got here it was like the city couldn't contain itself. Like you see shops like spilling out into the streets and there's apartments everywhere like that take up anything that businesses or monuments haven't already taken up and then you get to the Istanbul Archaeological Museum which has these like priceless statues that anywhere else would be inside and like totally protected but instead these 6,000 year old statues are sitting outside where the elements can get them because even the museum can't contain that sort of thing. Well, I found the people in Istanbul to be overwhelmingly friendly which I was really excited about. Um, we're still a lot of us struggling with language barriers, how to count money or how to ask to order a plate of food. And the people here are really, really nice and really willing to work with us about, you know, using a little English or miming or doing something so that we can both be understood and have a good experience, which I was really, really excited about to find when I came here to Istanbul. Dear friends, we are done for today. Where do you want to go next? The viewers at home, please tell us where do you want to be? Asos, the very first archaeological digging for American teams abroad, or Alexandria Truas, the port city of Paul on his missionary journey to Europe. See you on the Turkish Zag travel show. Please watch us.